Stanton. It was the Western Lunatic Asylum, okay? And so he's known for his Greek Revival architecture. And so there was a grand Greek Revival um, courthouse here. Right behind that courthouse was that cute little office there that's been painted gray. It was not supposed to be painted gray. <laughs> um, don't paint original brick. It's bad for the building. Okay, anyway. And then next to it, five lawyers row. Underneath the paint on that building is actually some really cool glazed header uh, Flemish bond brickwork that dates to probably the 1840s and 1850s. And then T.J. Collins was hired by the people who had the office to put a third story on it, and it became a Victorian building in 1891. Right back here, one through 13 lawyers row, is a beautiful Greek Revival purpose-built law office, series of law offices. We had a Secretary of the Interior of the United States had his office there. A, Supreme, a Virginia Supreme Court judge, appellate court judge, it's a number of high profile, very important people who are significant in the history of the Commonwealth of Virginia, involved with reconstruction after the Civil War, responsible for the Civil War, um, <laughs> a number of things. So this is, we are steeped in history. And then this is the next layer, this beautiful courthouse designed by the Collins firm as well as the Eccles building, okay? We have layers of history here, but you do not tear down buildings. It is not green. It is terrible for the environment. These buildings are all useful. They are all structurally sound. They were in recent use. There is no reason to tear them down. They are primed for rehabilitation, which brings more jobs, more money to the local and regional economy than anything. I was blown away when I got to hear a con at a conference, the National Trust for Historic Preservation, who had just done some work about the, the importance of the economic development centered around rehabilitation in America's cities. And that work that's done on rehabilitation returns more to your community than any form of construction, highway construction, interstate construction, any new construction. It happens right in your community and it stays in your community. That's what we need to see happen right here. I have an assignment, okay? There's an incredible amount of talent in this group. There are architects, there are uh, graphic artists, there are fantastic uh, visual artists, there are performance artists, there's all, everybody's here, okay? You can help the community. All of us can lend our hand. We can help the community and Augusta County, everybody involved, create viable solutions to Godzilla. Okay? This whole thing reminded me of a bad matinee when I'd go to the New Moon Theater in Neely, Nebraska and see these cool little little shows, you know, go, go, Godzilla. This thing's Godzilla. He's got to be stopped, okay? We'd rather not have rays of fire. Let's do this nicely and build something good. So, right over here, we have solutions. Yeah, it's private property. That, there used to be 13 stores on this street front up to the 1940s, 1950s, 13 individual storefronts, okay? We can rebuild right here over those parking lots and still retain the parking lots. It's a floodway here. That's the least, that's the most restrictive building area you can do in a community because of the water problems that we have. However, I just went through the FEMA website this morning and the city of Stanton zoning guidelines. And as long as we build above the flood level, if you put the inhabitable space above the flood level, you can do it. Well, you can leave the parking first level and build above two, three stories. It will fit right in. Think about it. What did we do on New Street on the corner? What did Fraser Associates design? The people from all over to come to look at? Yeah. A parking garage. <laughs> and it fits within the community because yep. the facade is broken up into individual shops and you can park up and down below. You can do the same thing right there, except above. You can have court facilities. Yeah. Yes, it's not all under one roof. My understanding is that the Supreme Court guidelines for courthouses do not require you to have one secure entrance. Have two, have three. Keep your money in the community and pay some more people. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so bring your talent, bring it to the street, bring the discussion to the forefront, and we can have a beautiful facility right here 
and we can do it well. Thank you, and thank you for your wonderful time.